This video is on principal component analysis. Principal component analysis in short is known as uh, PCA. Uh, well, this is a technique which is similar as uh, exploratory factor analysis. Similar in the way that uh, the use of this technique is similar to the exploratory factor analysis. This is a technique used uh, for reduction of variables in a data set. If you have too many variables in your data set and you want to reduce the number of variables, you can use the principal component analysis. When do we use this particular technique for variable reduction? If the variables that we have in our data set are very correlated among themselves. Correlation shows that there is redundancy in the uh, data. We cannot use the same information again and again and redundant information will give us a very uh, biased uh, est uh, number of estimates and resulting a biased model. Hence, we need to get down to a few number of uh, variables or few number of principal component uh, in the principal component analysis. Principal component components are nothing but the combination of a couple of variables. Say for example, we have 100 variables in our data set. Uh, we, we can uh, reduce uh, the number of variables to uh, 10 principal components. Each print principal component will have 10 to 15 or 20 variables in it. We can combine the variables and come up with one principal component and thereby reducing the uh, number of uh, you know the variables used in the model. We also use principal component analysis uh, for exploratory data analysis. If you need to know if variables are related among themselves, which variables are related, whether uh, they have uh, any similarity in nature, similarity uh, between them, we use uh, principal component analysis. The mathematics behind principal component analysis is like this. Principal components are the linear combinations of the variables used for the principal component. Uh, you can see on the screen there are three variables var1, var2 and var3. Principal component, is, so each and every principal component is, is a combination of a couple of uh, you know independent variables or variables in your data set. We have combined var1, var2 and var3 to come up with the principal component. b1, b2 and b3 are the estimates. We estimate in some way to come up with this value. We combine the variable in some way and then we come up with uh, the principal components. We can have, we can have uh, any number of variables combined together to uh, come up with the principal component. There is no restriction. Only restriction is that the maximum number of principal component possible is equal to the maximum number of variables or input variables that we have provided. How do, how do we estimate this equation that you can see on the screen? Well, the estimation happened like this. We, uh, we, we estimate the uh, coefficients by maximizing the total variance. What is the total variance? You, you compute the variance of each of these variables, var1, var2 and var3 and then you combine it. Okay. Make sure that what value, uh, make sure that the, the variance or the total variance that we computed is maximum for a set of coefficients or set of estimates uh, for B1, B2 and B3. In other words, we choose B1, B2 and B3 in such a way that the total variance, sum of all the variances of uh, the variable is maximized. That is the way we do the estimation. 
very important question what is the difference between exploratory factor analysis and functional component analysis they look very similar they are used for similar purpose but what are the basic differences and why do we need to have two techniques uh, when both techniques pretty much do the same thing well the underlying assumption are different and there is a slight difference in in terms of their uses also let's uh, see first what is the difference in the mathematics behind uh, or the estimation uh, of the two uh, uh, two uh, two uh, diff, um, theories in uh, principal component analysis each component principal a particular principal component is a linear combination of variables input variables on the other hand in exploratory factor analysis each variable input variable is a linear combination of different factors i repeat principal component is a linear combination of variables input variables and in efa every input variable is a linear combination of different factors so it's the opposite okay so that's the main difference between uh, the pca and efa in terms of the estimation in terms of other aspects the factors that we come up with in efa are explained we can give a name to them and then explain it to someone if you have seen the video on exploratory factor analysis um, using sas i have given a name uh, you know I, I i i have used a data set wherein i have used data for students and uh, and there is one factor we shows the family background i have renamed that particular factors as family background but we cannot give a name to a principal component it is a mechanical variable we cannot give a name to it all it can be used is that only for the uh, you know um, you know for forecasting or for knowing the predicting the value of dependent variable in future but it's very difficult to explain the principal component in a model and principal components are not explained where the factors are actually explained because factors are the latent variables or the uh, unobserved variables principal component is basically used where the purpose is just to reduce the number of variables into few components we don't look out for different latent construct or different grouping of the variables principal component is bit mechanical in the sense we only care about how to reduce the number of variables we don't really care about whether variable and i mean how the variables are grouped together we don't experiment with that we we are more interested in terms of reducing the number of variables as quickly as possible we don't bother about which variable belong to which principal group uh, or not we, we don't really care about that much and then there is a difference in the estimation we maximize the total variance in pca whereas we maximize the shared variance only the common variance between the uh, input variables in exploratory factor analysis so there is a difference in terms of the estimation exploratory factor analysis is more statistical in nature whereas principal component analysis is is non statistical in nature these are the uh, basic differences between them uh, but uh, you know just to summarize pca is pretty much like exploratory factor analysis the uh, main difference is that if you are not interested look out for the latent factors you know factors which can be explained and then uh, you know their loading curve can be explained then we go in for principal component analysis for reducing the variance if you if you want to know the uh, latent construct and then 
you know, use it in the model, in a confirmatory model, then we'll go in for exploratory factor analysis.